For those of you guys just checking us out, this is the Hoblin Hog, H-O-B-B-L-I-N-H-O-G.com. And what I'm doing today is I'm giving you a free barbecue recipe. Okay, so this is for like on a Sunday morning, you get up, you ain't got nothing to do, football's coming on in a couple hours, you look around, hey, I'm going to make some ribs and my own barbecue sauce. Hey, now you can do it. Let's talk a little bit about the ribs. For those of you who don't know how to cook a good mean rib, I'll give you a couple of hints. If you're going to use a cooker outside, your, your uh, barbecue cooker or smoker, aluminum foil is your best friend. It really is. Take and season them ribs. Rinse them off real good first. Season them up. Wrap them in that foil. Put them out on the grill. A good rule of thumb if you're cooking outdoors is because you know how, how the, the grill, you can't really control the temperature that good. Basically until they start to break away from the bone. But inside, if you're cooking inside, it's about a half an hour per pound at uh, 275. But you first put them in, if you're going to use the inside, you put them in, put them in the oven, put them in the foil, turn it up to 400. What that does is kind of base it, you'll get the outside of it nice and sealed off to hold the juices in. Then after that, turn it down to 275, half an hour per pound. Okay, let's go back to the barbecue. Okay, let's recap what we got. We got your liquid smoke. Four ounces. We got your brown sugar. Now all this stuff's probably around your house except the liquid smoke. This here we did one cup. This right here. This is mine by the way. Two cup. Two the apple jelly, we did one full jar that you can pick up at the store. And what that helps do, it helps thicken it too. It don't just give it that extra flavor, but it thickens it up. We got our own Hoblin Hog Special Cajun Seasoning, which when you go to the website, you'll see it on there very soon. Like I said earlier, we're just getting started, but uh, this is probably one of the best seasonings you'll find. And I'm not just saying that, it's, it's really good. Anyway, we've got uh, two tablespoons of this in there. We've let it heat up. We've tasted it. Now it becomes your personal preference. You, from this point, you can add things to it to flavor it the way you like. You can use pepper. You can use a little more salt if you want some salt in there. You can use crushed red pepper if you want it a little hotter. You can put jalapenos in it. You can do anything you want with it from this point right here. What I think we're going to do... I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want it a little bit hot, just, just a tiny bit hot. So let's see what I got up here. I know I got some cayenne somewhere. Uh -huh. Well, this will work. Okay, I'm going to put one tablespoon of crushed red pepper. Then, it's football Sunday! I mean, heck, my guys are going to be over here pretty soon. I'm going to make this special, just a little bit special. It's like somebody's been into it. And you can't keep nothing safe. Oh! 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 Oops. 
Get rid of the evidence. I put that much in. <laughs> 